This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course. I'm on level 9, Village Guard. So, patrol the village entrances. Remember, these are comments. They're just for humans. Those two slashes mean they're comments. Patrol the village entrances. If you find an enemy, attack it. Okay, sounds simple enough. And here we have a loop again, right? So starting on line three and the curly bracket ends it on line 16. Anything inside that loop is going to keep repeating. Not once, not twice, but forever. Firster here is gonna move to 35, 34. Well, where is that? Well, there's this secret XY graph where zero, zero is somewhere way down there, but X line, Y line, 35, 34. Is it over here? There, yep, roughly right there our hero is going to. Then our, we create a variable, variable left enemy. So now there's this thing we made in the computer, this, uh, this variable, this item called left enemy. We now tell our hero, look around and find the nearest enemy. If our hero finds someone, awesome. They are now named left enemy. If our hero doesn't find someone, left enemy is now equal to null, to nothing, to not there. Which is why next we use an if statement on line six, if left enemy. And that asks the computer, hey, is is left enemy an actual like thing? Or or is it did our hero look around and find nothing? So if if left enemy is actually nothing, our hero looked around and said, meh, then it just skips over this because, well, we can not attack nothing. But if left enemy is an object, is something, is an item that our hero found, then if left enemy becomes true and it goes right into this, hero attack, left enemy, hero attack, left enemy, and we get rid of that enemy. Now move to the right entrance, okay? Well, where's that right entrance? Let's use our mouse here and looks like roughly, I'm going to say X is 60, Y is 31. I'm going to start typing move. I'm going to select that. And then X is always first, which was 60. And then what I saw was Y being 31. Hopefully that is close enough. Use find nearest enemy, find nearest enemy. I'm gonna steal their idea just for clearness or so it's very clear, right? Enemy it is. It's standard in code in JavaScript to, well, first of all, you could never have space in the name of something in the name of a variable. Second, what is standard, though, is you would have a lowercase character at first, and then, as long as it's not a class, um, you'd have a lowercase character. Don't worry about what I just said. You'd have a lowercase character at first, and then on new uh, words, you would just capitalize it. So right, enemy is what I got. Great. Now, I'm going to attack. Wait, I can't attack. I want my hero to check. Wait a minute. Does right, if right enemy exists, right? Beca right, right? Because we need to check. Otherwise our hero might look around because we make, we make this variable, variable right enemy. The computer has made this object somewhere in its memory. And even if our hero now looks around and finds nothing, well, that means our hero looked around, found nothing, and right enemy equals nothing. So we check. Because if our hero looks around and finds an enemy, if right enemy, then we want to attack. But if our hero looks around and finds nothing, if nothing, we skip over this code. So if he finds an enemy, we want to attack. And now we want to attack who? Well, right enemy. And then you got to hit ogres twice because they're evil. I think, let's see how this looks. If it's looking good, let's go ahead and submit. I see you, yes. And now it's looping back around. He goes back to the right. Now it's looping back around, back and back and back. Let's hit cement and see how it goes. Perfection. Great. Let's keep going. 